Hey everybody, Artfinity here, and I'm back with another drawing. And this one is of Weiss from Ruby. And this is actually a drawing that's been done for a while, but I don't know if anybody else gets this, especially if you do like YouTuber drawing videos of some sort. The drawing is actually the easiest part, but the uh, remembering to edit and do commentary part, that's the hard part. Um, so I just have like a bunch of these speed paints like stored up on my computer, and I'm like, you know, I should probably get around to actually making these into videos so um, there is good news on that that I'll be uploading a bit more because I already have a backlog of stuff and then we should get caught up really soon because you know drawings like these they take a decent amount of time um, so pretty much what this scene is it's actually uh, Weiss from Ruby and it's right from the beginning trailer of where it introduces her character where she's fighting like a knight dude um, it's also the one where she gets her scars, so if you look on the drawing, that eye scar, that'd be fresh, you know? So she's gonna have a nice visit to the eye doctor in a hot minute to find out if she's okay or not. But, uh, yeah, this drawing was, I, I thought of the pose first, and I thought of the sword being foreshortened, and I was like, that would look really cool if I managed to do it right. And I was right, it looks cool, but I also hate myself because that was a pain to figure out. <laughs> Um, you know, this is one of those things where, oh, if you had a reference, it'd be easy, but, you know, I don't just have a Weiss sword lying around to just have as a reference to be like, oh, yes, this is, this is how this works in a 3D space. Um, but yeah, um, so I worked on this drawing and I really did like how it came out with the sword, especially. It took me actually a bunch of tries to get. Um, I did actually lose some of the footage, so if you're seeing now, it's just into the base coloring and onward. I used to have the line arting part of this, but OBS does this annoying thing where sometimes it records the file as the wrong kind of file, and then it corrupts, and then your computer says, Hey, this is 60 gigabytes of nothing. Do you want to keep it? And you're like, huh? Not really. So you end up deleting it, and then you're like, oh, wait, crap, that was a part of a speed paint. I hate everything. So, yeah, this is um, this is why I'm just barely getting this Weiss drawing out now, is I figured, oh, wait, I actually still have, like, some bits and pieces of it put together. So, uh, yeah, this drawing is actually one in a set. It's all four Ruby characters, so I drew all of them in their own picture in a kind of po poster-esque kind of scene. So this is the one that's with Weiss. She's actually my favorite one from Ruby. I think her design is the coolest. She's sassy and gives people crap. <clears throat> not that I can relate and um yeah it's just uh with this drawing I wanted it to be like the season one attire so I went ahead and I did that and I was like that's pretty neat and now I'm just watching season seven at the moment and I'm like this is also pretty neat so yeah um pretty much what I'm doing for this drawing is I already laid down the base coloring and then I'm going in with a semi painterly style um I think this was my third drawing I want to say in clip studio paint so this is back when I was like more or less kind of figuring out just how to use it in general. I've been using Photoshop for a couple of years and I decided to give Clip Studio Paint a try because it has um like it has perspective tools and stuff specifically for manga, which I did use for my manga, Nephi, which was um it was a really big help. It really does save a lot of time. But as you can see, this is just me trying to figure out the ins and outs of how the heck this program works, and I think that this was a really good test drawing for it. And yeah, it was it was a lot of fun to do. I like how the hair came out, especially especially with the like little bun part of it before it turns into like the ponytail thing. Just the the shading on that, you know, the way it's a uh, it looks like it's defined and rendered, but without lines actually going into it, like line art lines going into it. I was just like, ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> Um, it's just like with any particular drawing, you know, you just like this one particular thing about it. You're just like, in this one, I like the bun. <laughs> and uh, everything else turned out okay, but I like the bun. I might actually go back and have a redo of this drawing because now it's been a couple more months. I have a bit more experience with Clip Studio Paint. And, you know, I'd, I'd like to see more or less like how I've improved and how it's gotten better. And I think that that would be a lot of fun. But yeah, and then for the background, I just have the uh, environment that she's in. I didn't make it too detailed because I wanted her to be the focus of the picture still. You know, it's like the, the focus is on her, so I decided to make the background a little blurred. Um, but yeah, that bun is definitely my favorite part. And uh, in regards to Ruby, 
I know probably a decent amount of people who are watching this video have probably seen it, so I am actually I'm actually curious. What's your favorite character? And uh how did you actually find out about the show? Mine was because an angry chinchilla told me to. But um yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I have for this drawing. And I also have a question for anybody who knows, because I don't know. Like I said, these are drawings that I made to be poster-esque, meaning they would look cool if they were on a poster. Crazy, right? So if anybody actually knows of any decent online places where I could go and make these, um, I am open to suggestions and find out and like look into it, because I'm actually planning on making prints of these things. And I'm also planning on giving out a few on Patreon. Like this um, this finalized image is already on there. So if you go and check out the Patreon, you know, it's, it's already there along with all the other ones. But if anybody has any good places where I could go and like look into printing these, you know, I am going to get them beforehand and test them out and see how they look and if it's cool. You know, if, basically I'm going to find out for me if it works and then if it's cool, then I'll look into actually making prints of a couple of other drawings because... I have a bunch of stuff in store. Like I said, I already have the rest of the Ruby series. I might even remake those. And I also have a Pokemon drawing that I'm currently working on that I guess I could just splice in here if I remember to. But uh, yeah, that's just a small update on what I'm doing. And uh, I've also decided that I'm going to start working a bit more into making videos because I don't know. I'm never short on actually making drawings, which you would assume is the hard part, right? It's just... I'm always short on making videos about those drawings. So um, hopefully an, an approach I'll be going for is not making them insanely edited. It, it'll be more straightforward. It's just like a, a straightforward commentary that doesn't have too many cuts. It's not exactly too fancy. It's just straight to the point. It's the drawing, a baseline commentary of what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, we'll we'll go from there. We'll we'll see how that goes because I figured it's better that I get out a video that's decent, <laughs> you know, and straight to the point, frequently than like videos that I put like thousands of hours into and uh, I upload like <laughs> once a year, like I tend to do. But yeah, um, that's that's pretty much like all I got for this one. I hope you guys enjoy the drawing. The final one is on my Instagram and also on Patreon if you want to check that out. And again. One more time, if you guys know of any good places that do prints and stuff, please let me know because I am going to look into it and then who knows, we can get some prints of this crud. <laughs> I'll put them on my wall. You can get it if you want, but these are meant for me. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much all I got and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!